Hello people of the internet. Well today and under request I am going to be swatching the Spectrum Noir Spectrum Noir glitter pens that I bought from Ryman's and showed in my um, recent haul, last haul, last haul of the year. Um, and there's two sets, the Neon Lights and the Vibrant Florals. And I've only tried one of the pens and that was um, when I was showing them on my haul. So I have printed out a swatch page. <laughs> I've actually printed it on my new laser printer. Which is only the second thing that I've printed on my new laser printer. They come out a bit curly. That's all I'm going to say about that. Um, let me get some paper to, you know, prime them. So as I said in the haul video, there's nothing on here about instructions. It just says water-based glitter pens, they're called neon lights. It says for colourful shimmering effects. And on the back it says these vibrant water-based colours are packed with shimmering glitter. Each marker has a versatile rounded tip for perfect smooth accurate lines and detailed colouring. Perfect for crafting, colouring, lettering and embellishing. And then there's a list of colours. Let's hope they've got the colours on the pens then. So, ooh, extremely tightly packed. There we go, they're out. No instructions, which is what I said last time. There's no instructions about priming them or anything like that. Let's um, but they do, as you can see, if I put them back how they were supposed to be before I ruined them, <laughs> uh, have their names on them. So neon yellow, needle violet, that's interesting. Yep. Neon blue, neon pink, neon orange and neon green. So let's get them all of that out of here now. Violet, yellow, blue, pink orange and green now I do know that you have to prime them even though so you can hear the ball inside and they have uh, this kind of tip I wouldn't call that a soft tip because that's that sort of hard plastic yeah hard plastic tip um, but you do have to shake it doesn't say shake but with a ball that would imply shake and you do have to prime so I'm gonna do that to each of them first and when I was doing the using them in my haul they primed really quickly and this one's priming really quickly as well let's zoom you in a little Whoop. you can see the colours already coming down looks quite green this one which is the yellow one oh, that's really interesting because the one that I did the other day I'm sure they've put the wrong ink in the wrong thing um, but I just get them primed. I'm sure the other one looked yellow the other day. One and two. Oh, and it's already coming down. Yep. That's Next one. These really prime really quickly, I think, compared to the other uh, ones that I did before. But then these are water based, but the other one's acrylic based, and I think they were water based as well. Yep, there's the blue. I might fast forward this bit. So, you don't need to watch me doing it, really. Unless you want to real time, see how long it takes. Oh, that's nice. get a tiny little oh this is the one I've already done isn't it yeah. doesn't have to give it a shake though right so swatch time sorry about the curly paper now I have done white and black which is what I usually do with um, glitter pens well that's what I do with glitter pens now just to see if there is any difference when you do it on um, White or black. I'm also going to get a bit of squidge. I haven't got my bit of squidge that I usually have, have I? Let's get my bit of squidge. Bit of squidge being a 
stack of paper that I put behind it so it gives it a little bit of squidge <laughs> so neon lights shake neon yellow that is Ooh. very vivid on the white not so vivid now I'm going to do three and then I'll hold it up to the light so you can see the glitter neon violet they are very fluid very smooth very liquidy oh that's a nice blue So that's the first three. So on the black, you can't see the colour at all. You can just see like the mica. On the white, yeah, you can see it's a really nice subtle silvery glitter. Okay, pink. Orange. That's vivid. Oh, these are going to be fabulous. In you know the um, nighttime mandala ones, black book mandalas, and yellow. No, that. No, this this is green. Whew. I was going to say that's more. Okay, so you can see, you can see the glare on the black, but that's all you can see, you can't see the colour. So it's more, I was going to say it's more of a sheen than a glitter, but it's just more of an ultra fine glitter, I think. There you go, let's them all nicely. Okay. So that's pack one, which was the neon lights, and now we're going to go on to pack two, which is the vibrant florals. So similar pack, vibrant florals, same information. What I'll do is after I've done these is compare them quickly to the other pens that I've got like these, which were made by Tuliart. I'm going to pop these out as well and also going to prime them so when i come back to you they'll be primed and popped out okay so we are ready to go they are all pumped and primed and shook got them in color order up there we're going to start with this one which is oh one way around golden glow golden glow that is golden do it on the black Okay, now we're doing electric pink. It's a real magenta pink, that. Then we have ultraviolet. They're not designed to go on black paper, so I'm not. Glitter me schmittery. This one is fiery red. It's got a very coral looking top. This one is supernova. Got some interesting names, haven't they? That's orange. This one is Yellow Cosmos. These are lovely colours actually. Could have done with a green or a blue here. What was this one called? Vibrant Florals. You probably wanted a green. A bit confused as to why there isn't a green. Beautiful colours though. 
So then you really can see the neons compared to the vibrant florals. Now one thing I will say is they do take a bit of time to dry. They're actually all dry now. But on the black, I'm not sure if you're going to see this. When I run my finger across, you can see the glitter <laughs> coming away. I got a glittery finger. <laughs> Gold finger. Ding ding. Um, yeah, so if you use these in a colouring book, you may very well want to, uh, I don't know, protect the other side of the page. But I must admit, it's mirroring them over like that. It's quite a nice effect if you wanted to, uh, you know, just do a shimmering highlight on something. It's quite nice, that. Anyway, so that, let's zoom you back out. That is the Spectrum Noir glitter pens now i think there is a third set i'm not sure there might not be let me check hold on let me just let me not lie let me check yes it is a third set and they are called cool elements i'm going to put a picture of them here and they're all oh, the lovely blues and greens and it looks like there's a silver in them as well and if i wasn't on a nose bend i would absolutely purchase that set as well and maybe i will in the future so one thing i said i was going to do was compare them to these which are the these <laughs> uh, Tulia glitter paint pens uh, extra fine tip uh, I bought these off of Amazon they are, will be linked down below you get 16 of those so with these you get 6 so I think the full set of them is 18 um, let's part, find some similar colours so I've got a, a yellow one a purpley one a bluey one a pinky one an orangey one there's another purpley one there a ready one. Let's compare some of these. So this is the yellow E1. Give it a shake because I haven't used these since. Uh... Actually, that's a lie. I did a colouring paint with them, but I haven't used them since then. Okay, is it going to be near this shade? <laughs> Identical to this shade. Zoom in a little tiny bit more. Very similar. Could be the same pen. Okay, next one I'm going to try is this peachy one. What's the colour? What is this called? With these pens, there's a number on the end and the colours are on the back. So number five is called orange copper. So I'm gonna I'm gonna guess it's supernova. Might be wrong. I think it's very similar. Maybe Supernova's a bit darker, but I didn't shake that one. Okay, this one is number three. It's called Misty Pink. Shake, 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 shake. Make sure it's primed. See if it's similar to this. No, it's similar to this one. No, not really. That's a unique, unique colour. Let's have a look at this one, which is number two. Mauve. I can't hear the ball so much in these Thule Art ones as you can. You can really hear the ball in them. Not so much in them. I wonder if it's because they're thicker. So is this similar to that? No, a bit darker really, isn't it? Looks similar-ish on camera, but I do think it's a bit darker. Let's do the purple and blue. They're the other two I got out. So shaking it, and this is number one, which is called Iris in the Tulip Art. And let's see if it compares to Ultraviolet. Oh, it's much darker. In fact, these two sets together. Oops, I should have primed it. Probably didn't prime it. These two sets together make a nice, because um, they're like, you see one's darker than the other. The pink looks similar now they're drying down actually. The Spectrum Noir ones do actually feel a little bit smoother, free flowing -er 
Then the um, these ones, two little ones. This is number ten, aqua blue. Now I haven't really got a blue to compare it with. Oh, it's such a nice colour that. Because I obviously haven't got the cool elements set. Oh, I compared it up there, which was nothing like it. So, the way they look, they are sort of similar to each other. So, both got black bodies, both about the same size. Mm, these lids have got a clip on them. These haven't. The tips are similar. The bit that holds the tip is not the same. And using them, let's do one after the other. They feel really smooth. The Spectrum Noir ones do actually feel really smooth. And then the two the art ones. Not much in it, to be honest. Bit rougher. They do feel a bit rougher, a little bit more hard work. I think the <laughs> the juice in these ones feels a little bit more free flowing. Okay, anyway. <laughs> so that is my swatch and review of the Spectrum Noir glitter pens and, sorry I haven't got the third set, the cool, cool elements ones, but if I wasn't on a no spend, I would have bought them. <laughs> so take care everyone and uh, thanks very much for watching. Bye.